look who's back and with a product endorsement this time. Now, if I could just start getting paid for these things, you know, I'd, I'd be rolling. Um, what we're going to talk about this is going to be really short. I just wanted to, I had a good, I had a good um, experience with a, with a company and I like to put it out there because why not, you know? Um, as a lot of you know, at least all, all 20 of you who, who watch my stuff, you know that I've recently fallen in, lo in lust with this uh, Model 360 Airweight Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum uh, little J-frame revolver. Uh, I haven't carried one since the early 90s. And one of the best things about a J-frame revolver, besides the fact that they're small and they're light, you know, they're, they're, they're reliable, is that they've been around for so long you can get any accessory you want for them, right? It literally falls off the shelves. It's probably get it at, at, at a friggin' Target, right? Well, not so much with this particular one. Best I can tell, of all the holsters, I, I've gone through a few holsters, they just don't seem to fit right for various reasons. And the one reason that I continually came across, one problem was this, this unfluted cylinder here seems to be the culprit. Now, I like unfluted cylinders, but um, whenever you put in Model 360, I guess they're thinking you're getting, you got the PD or 340 or whatever else, they all have fluted cylinders. This unfluted cylinder, when it comes to Kydex, which is molded, you get those flutes in the cylinder and you know what it, it, it wouldn't go in even with leather holsters where you can kind of force it in i got one where i like it so i kind of force it in and it'll it, it'll last it'll work but i don't care for it it was a bit more of a struggle than i'd like to so i i finally searching around uh, I, I came across a company mk tech holsters and i went on their website and i punched in the gun the gun came right up and i i saw the model of the gun that they had there even though the holster was for this it was this gun, but when it had a fluted cylinder, and I'm like, oh, I'm so goddamn close. I actually did the, con I never do the contact me stuff. I contacted them, MK Tech Colsters, and sure enough, I got a response from them. And Todd said, Todd sent me an email back with attachments. And he said that, no, we've since changed our molding. Um, we've since changed our mold for this for that holster for the unfluted cylinder. And he, and he sent me a picture. He sent me an actual picture of it to show that what the holster would look like. So I ordered it up. Holster comes up. You see now what I did. Now the, the colors are different because this is such an amateur production. I move forward. I move back. Oh well. Um, it arrived. Unfluted cylinder, and I'll tell you, fits perfectly. The retention is good, comfortable, small, light. Again, this is a light gun. Remember, I changed the grips to make them lighter. This is a light gun. This weighs next to nothing. I've had my scale light weight, but again, this is going to be short. And it, it works good. I carry inside the waistband with this gun either uh, on on the on you know on the, the six not six o'clock like five o'clock position, or I carry um, as I mentioned there was a small rant about appendix carry. Very comfortable either way. Uh, very good job. Uh, good company. Ran in a forty dollar range. Seems like you know good Kydex holster fits this particular gun perfectly. So for all you model three sixty non PD uh, carrying guys out there with this unfluted cylinder, take heart. Um, even though my, my video turned yellow midway through, take heart, uh, MK Tech holsters, uh, it comes with the unfluted cylinder and it really fits absolutely perfectly. Good job, good company. Thanks, Todd. Reach out to him and, um, you know, that's my product endorsement.